Alex and Jess are pretending to be tourists whilst keeping an eye out for a suitable victim. They have chosen this woman, and it's her handbag that's the target. The bag is going to be snatched, but that's only half the plan. The stakes are much higher, as you will soon see. Alex and Jess wait for an opportunity to make their move, while Paul watches proceedings from the back of the cafe. This is their chance. The woman's friend leaves the table, and the mark is now alone and vulnerable. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I come too. Uh, but when when will I see you? No, when I come back. Here, even though yeah, really no. Uh, hang on, we, we take one one photo. Okay, what? One second. Excuse me. Uh, can you take a photo? Sure. One second. Alex and Jess distract the mark and maneuver her into turning her back on her handbag. Like this. <laughs> There's Paul. He's going in for the steal. I have to put it on here. No, one second. I think he's like this. Okay. Thank you. Instead of doing a runner, Paul takes a seat near the Mark's table. Alex and Jess have their photo, but the Mark turns back to realise her bag is gone. Out of sight of the Mark, Alex has to get somewhere fast. Okay, I've got to go to the van. The Mark is distressed. You okay? Paul talks to her, but she bag. doesn't suspect that her handbag is less than two meters away in Paul's briefcase. This is the big hit. The team are going to try and fool the mark into giving them her card pin as well as her personal details. Excuse me, do you have anything valuable in it? Do you have like have bank cards or anything? Card, my phone, my what bank are you with? Barclays. I work for Barclays. You do? Yeah, let's look, let's cancel your bank cards. Have a seat. Don't worry, have a seat. Did you not see anyone come here? No, no. There was somebody walking through, Did but hold on. See someone here? Hold on. Alex wants to sound like he's in a call centre and not in the cab of a van. So he plays in a sound effects CD of office noise. All right, look, that's the bank call centre there. Speak to them. Cancel your cards, OK? Hello? My, my bag has been stolen and I've had, I have all my... everything in my bag. I'm very sorry to hear about that, but I can certainly assist you with this call. Yeah, please. Do you know your account number and sort code? Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, with the help of the sound effects, Alex has convinced the Mark that he is a bank call centre operator and she dutifully gives him her bank details. OK. Now I need your full name and your postcode, please. It's Michelle and it's... She still has no idea it was Paul who took her handbag and is hiding it in his case on the next table. OK. Now, I've got the card details here. It doesn't look like anyone's tried to use it, so it's a good job you called us straight away. Now, the last thing I need from you in order to cancel your card is your four-digit PIN number. Now, I can't take this off you myself because we're not allowed to take PIN numbers, so I'm going to have to put you through to the automated service. OK? OK, thank you. Right. Alex now plays back a message from Jess recorded earlier. After the tone, please enter your four-digit PIN number, followed by the hash key. Alex records the tones, which could easily be decoded later to reveal the pin. Your card has now been cancelled. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. The Mark is grateful to the Good Samaritan. All right. Yeah. All right. But Paul's walking away with her handbag. Worse still, she thinks her account is now safe, whereas in reality, the real hustlers have done enough to completely empty her finances. It started as a distraction robbery. It developed into a card pin and identity theft. A potentially devastating combination for the victim. It's time to put her out of her misery and let her know how bad it could have been. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, thank you, I stole your bag. <laughs>
Credit card fraud is still a massive problem in the UK and indeed all over the world. Even though we have new technology such as chip and pin coming in, it's still incredibly easy to clone credit cards. The general rule is if it can be made, it can be copied. Jess has got a part-time job waitressing in this cafe. But a cup of coffee here is going to cost rather a lot more than you might think, because this waitress is card cloning. Is everything OK? Yeah. It's time to settle the bill, so Jess brings over the keypad terminal for her customers' card payments. Thank you. Oh. That was clumsy, or was it? Thank you. Let's go back and see what Jess is really up to. To the customers, Jess appears as if butter wouldn't melt. But what was she doing in the ladies earlier? It only takes minutes for her to attach a high-tech skimming device that is used by crooks the world over. This reads the magnetic strip on any credit or debit card <laughs> and stores the details so that they can be used later to make duplicates or even be sold on to organised crime gangs. Jess drops the card on purpose so she can skim it without arousing any suspicion. Here it is again. From a different angle, the swipe is clearly visible. Jess even sneaks a peek at the pin as it's entered. It's lovely, let's cut back. Thank you. Jess has just walked away with his card details and his pin. He may as well have written her a blank check. So how does this work? The cards that Jess has swiped are recorded in this dictaphone as sound files from the magnetic stripe on the back of the card. Now, in order to get the data from that, I have to connect this to a computer which reads the sound file. Like that, that comes up as a waveform. If we then run that through a special program, it'll extract the data, which will give me the number, the name, and everything I need to create an exact duplicate of your credit card. Back at the cafe, these customers are also going to lose their card details. But this time, Jess mounts the card skimming device on her waist. OK, I'll have you a minute. There. It's all done very casually. Actually, um, I'll bring the terminal up to you and I'll to take your card away. It'll be two minutes. It's a cheeky touch to insist on the customers keeping hold of their card. Who could suspect such an honest waitress? Again, a different angle shows the swipe clearly. Jess repositions the skimmer in her apron. Thank you. By making out the card needs cleaning before it can be read, she gets away with a sneaky swipe right in front of the victim. Here it is again from a different angle. Jess doesn't even look away as the pin is entered. These people are lucky. They won't be losing their card details and they have learnt an important lesson about card skimming fraud. You don't expect it to be as easy as it is. And it probably happens a lot more than you expect it to as well. And it does actually make you wonder how many times it has happened in the past without you realising. One minute is swapped. And within 10 minutes, your whole bank's cleared. Once your credit card information has been stolen, there are several things that can happen. Your card can be cloned and used here in the UK or the data can be sold on the black market via the internet. So your card can be used on the other side of the world within 24 hours. Always keep an eye out for your card and always, always cover your pin.
Card cloning by physical copying cards has been around for a long time. It's probably one of the oldest scams. It's probably been around as long as magnetic stripe credit cards have been around. It only takes a second or so to clone a credit card, so you need to be very careful. Don't let your credit card out of your sight. Don't let anyone wander away with your credit card. Always know what you're using your credit card for. Most credit card companies are very good at dealing with, with stray transactions. And as long as you stay on board and keep an eye on your uh, statement, you should be able to do something about it.